The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Hello, children. I see you are back again. What can I do for you today? Hi, Holy. We want you to tell us another story from the Bible. Will you please, please tell us one? Yes, I will. But you have to promise to pay attention, as at the end of it, I will ask a question. Yes, Holy. We promise to pay attention. Now listen, children. This story is about the prophet Isaiah's warning. A man called Hezekiah was now the king of Judah. One day, Hezekiah became very ill. He was so ill that the people thought he was going to die. They finally took him to the holy man, Isaiah. With Isaiah's help, he soon became better. The news of his miraculous recovery reached many places. Soon, the ambassador of Babylon came to see him. The ambassador brought many gifts from Babylon with him. This pleased King Hezekiah a lot and he happily showed the ambassador everything in the palace. From the treasury to the storehouses, the king showed him everything. That evening, when Isaiah came to Hezekiah, he asked him what Hezekiah had shown the ambassador from Babylon. The king told Isaiah everything he had shown the ambassador. Isaiah was very worried. He warned him, saying, There will be a day when everything from your palace will be taken away to Babylon. Even your own sons will not be spared. But Hezekiah did not pay any attention to Isaiah's warning. He just wanted to enjoy peace in his own lifetime. He did not care about what might happen later. He would unfortunately soon regret it. I hope you were listening carefully, children, because I will ask a question now. The ambassador of which country came to meet King Hezekiah? I know I can answer this. The ambassador from Babylon. Correct? Yes, that is right, Gumbo. You have started paying attention. That makes me very happy. Now, children, go on and play. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Holy!